What's up, Scorpio? How's it going? Welcome to your season. Welcome to your season, guys. Welcome to your um, Halloween weekend love reading. This is going to be real quick. Just going to check and see what you're up to this weekend. Um, I know it's a big weekend for like uh, hookups and shit. So we'll see what's up with you guys. Make sure you check out your ancestor reading. That will be up likely on Halloween day, but it will be a timeless reading. So you can watch it anytime. Um, be on the lookout for your November readings as well. I am moving slowly as my daughter's on her third hospitalization since September and it's hard to focus on anything else, but I am trying to put some stuff out there for you guys. Okay, happy birthday guys. If you share a birthday with me, November 7th, let me know in the comments and I'll do a free uh, question for you, okay? All right, here we go, Scorpio. What's up? The star, nice the moon, ten of cups, beautiful, eight of swords, six of pentacles, oh shit, way too many y'all, way too many. Ace of Swords. All right, here we go. So you are coming in this weekend in this star energy. It is Aquarius. Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. It doesn't really matter. What's happening is you are healing. <coughs> this is healing from the universe. It is major. Um, it's universal blessing. So you're manifesting like hardcore. The universe is really trying to help you right now. It, it is wish fulfillment as well. So what is this? What can you tell me about this star for Scorpio? Ooh, the lovers, Gemini. You might have something going on with a Gemini. Uh, you could be healing a connection with a Gemini or it's whatever. Um, you're manifesting this whole perfect union here, right? Balance, harmony in a love relationship. And the Queen of Cups, you're being your whole self. This is you being your emotional self, following your heart, being loving, compassionate, emotionally available, right? In your past, you have the Moon, Pisces. You could have been dealing with a Pisces in your recent past. Um, or this is just not having all the facts. It's like being in the dark about something, you know, not really sure like what's going on, what's going to happen. But now in the present, you have the Ten of Cups. So this is like happy home, happy family, fairy tale ending, everything that you would want in a love relationship. All right. What is this Ten of Cups all about for Scorpio? The Nine of Pentacles. Huh. So I think this is kind of like you or the person you're dealing with being like, do I want to settle down? Because Nine of Pentacles is very independent, um, very, you know, free. It's the kind of person that doesn't need to be in a relationship. They can be, but they don't have to be. So I think it's kind of somebody's here like, do I want to stay independent? Do I want to stay on my own? Or do I want to settle down and have this whole family life here? Good for money too, guys. And the chariot, cancer. So yeah, I think really what this looks like to me is like somebody deciding to move in with another person or move away with another person, travel to another person, something like that. The chariot is forward movement. It is success, um, can be travel. So maybe somebody's taking a vacation or maybe somebody's deciding like, I don't need to be so independent anymore. It's okay to settle down. It's okay to move in with this person, you know, whatever. Um, in the immediate future, though, you've got the eight, eight of Swords. So that is somebody being a little in their head, a little paranoid, um, overanalyzing something, overthinking. Let's see here. What is this Eight of Swords? The Sun. Oh, guys. Okay, so I don't know if this is you or your person overthinking, but all is well. This is the happiest card in the deck so that you don't need to be paranoid or overthink the situation like it looks perfectly fine honestly it looks amazing so kind of try to take yourself out of that mental prison if this is you and know that like you're headed towards the very best place the best place that you could be honestly this is the best card in the deck and that's where you're at here in the near future 
okay? It's everything coming to light. It's clarity. You go from the moon, which is like no clarity, to the freaking sun. That Like that is the exact progression that you would want to see in a love connection, all right? Your potential obstacle is the six of pentacles. This is, watch out for overgiving. Uh, overgiving to a connection that isn't giving back to you. Yeah, and the king of pentacles. It, watch out for overspending on something. You don't have to spend a lot of money and just to have like a relationship. You know what I mean? So focus on your money, focus on your stability as well. Your advice is the ace of swords. This is that aha moment. It's like having an epiphany. It's like the lights come on, like, oh, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. It's also about a new beginning, a new honest beginning. Um, communication looks good. Let's see what this is all about. The Five of Cups. So it might be that you come to a realization that you are still holding on to things from the past. Doesn't have to be with this connection. It can be with another one. You know, we carry stuff over from old relationships all the time. So it can be that you come to like this realization, like, oh my gosh, like, it's not that bad. Like, I'm holding on to this stuff that like doesn't even matter anymore. Like, it's done. It's over. I can't do anything about it. Um, so it might just be that you come to a realization that it's okay to let some stuff go. Like all is not lost. And the Knight of Pentacles. So that's moving forward in a connection. It's very slow. It's very cautious, but it is still moving forward. Okay. All right, y'all. Thanks for being here. I love you guys. Take care again. Happy birthday. Welcome to your season, guys.